All right, Shalom. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the, the 144,000 and the one third remnant. All right, Shalom. All right, yeah, so this is going to be a uh, brief lesson. All right, from, from this past, uh, this uh, um, street sermon this past weekend. All right. You know, I'm, 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 uh, you know, a student myself. I'm, um, an intern, based, so to speak, uh, looking to become a part of the Great Millstone. All right. And so, and we, and me and, um, another brother, all right, my mentor, basically, um, a brother in the faith of the GMS Savannah camp, uh, Malachi, the brother Malachi, you know, we go out in Augusta on Saturdays and speak. All right. And we came, um, this brother came up. All right. Of course, you can see from the fringes, he knows he's an um, Israelite. All right. But but he doesn't have the full truth. All right. And this is what this video is going to go into. This is what this lesson is going to go into. That's going to be the topic of this lesson of this lesson. All right. Our people are lost even in the truth. All right. So our people that know that they're um, the, our people that even know that they're Israelites, man, that think themselves to be in the truth. The majority of our people are still lost, even the ones that call themselves in the truth, that call themselves Israelites. All right. And by no means is this a personal attack against this brother. All right. Because he, you know, he he, he pretty much he received everything, man. All right. I'm going to play the clip. I may play the whole video. I just trimmed um, like five minutes from from the camp. All right. And I may do the whole thing. I may not. You know, it's all through the spirit. All right, but uh, like I said, this is not a personal attack against this brother, cause he, you know, he seemed like he was, just, um, you know, he seemed very sincere. All right, but he he's just um he's just um ignorant, and and, and ignorant doesn't mean dumb or stupid, dumb or stupid. It just means to not be aware of, to not know. All right, and that's the majority of our people, even in the truth, even our people that's in the truth. All right, there um some of our some of our people are just sincerely. Ignorant because they're being led by false teachers, by false prophets. All right, but like I said, this is not a personal attack against this brother. All right, you know, like I said, he re he received, he pretty much received everything, man. He didn't, he didn't buck up. All right, for the most part. All right, he um, like I said, he's being led astray. So he, so he thought he did, he didn't know the names, and he he kind of thought that, you know, the name was was different from the true name. All right, as you're gonna see in the clip. All right, but he, he pretty much received everything, man. All right, and so that's why I wanted to do this video, man. That's why that's why the apostles push that you 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 know if you call yourself a prophet, you have to have a street ministry, man. Because you, as you can see, Jake got the fringes on. All right, and he's not prophesying or, or doing any um work. All right, he was just out with it with his family, man. All right, with what seemed to be his wife and his child. All right, and they were just um out on their leisure time, their day to day, and, and and Jake got fringes on, man, not knowing that you know this thing isn't, you know, not knowing that, you know, you're making a, yourself a target by wearing your fringes in your day to day, whether it be at work or in your in your leisure time or what, what have you, man. When you're out in public, all right, you're sticking out like a sore thumb when you when you wear them fringes. All right. But yeah, like I said, this brother, he, he was, he, he seemed like, he seemed, he, you know, he really seemed like a sincere brother that's, you know, seeking the truth. But the majority of our people doesn't have that, um, 100% true. All right. And I done did a lot of rambling already. All right. So let, let's go get a scripture, man. All right. Because our people, I went so far. Our people, um, our people are being led. By false prophets, man. All right, and that's why that's why you you uh, we have to, we have to try their spirit, man, and see and see what they know, not to try to um diminish them or or make them look wrong in any type of way, you know. But we know that uh, there are more false prophets than real ones in these other camps. All right, they have a large following because they 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 doesn't teach the full truth, the full correct doctrine. Right, I think I had marked it. Let's see.
First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. All right. And this brother here is just one of the one of the many um of our people that has been led by false prophets. All right. Many false prophets are going out into the world, man. Deceiving and they themselves being deceived, deceiving their own selves. All right. And they're leading the, our people astray, man. All right, but everything is of the most high. The most high is gonna gonna uh, allow the people that he doesn't want to be deceived. And this I'm not saying this brother is of the two thirds. He may work very well be of the elect because we all had a journey in this truth, man. We all have a journey, man. Especially those of us that have came to the hundred percent truth, man. All right, we were watching many camps, all right, many doctrines. All right, but the Lord put the spirit on us, called Halal Yahweh by Shem Shah, those of us that, that have the 100% truth and, and follow the um, Brothers of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders. You know, we had, a, we, they, it, we had a journey in this thing too, man. So that's why I say we can't put people down, all right, that may be new into the faith and they're following different camps. They may sincerely just not know any better. All right, now, of course, you have false prophets and, 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 and vain deceivers and vain talkers, all right, but the majority of our people, are just sincerely um, ignorant, like I said earlier. All right, and this brother is one of them, you know. Matter of fact, let's just go get the clip. All right, and we're going to break it down as we go. Hey, y'all, who you listen to? Huh? Who you listen to? All right, so to give you the context, that's the brother um, that's coming up that you seen earlier. All right, in the photo earlier, the steel shot I had earlier. All right, he came up in the... Um, you know, the big brother, the uh, Malachi, he asked him, um, he's asking him basically who he listened to, who, what camp he follows. All right, let me start it over. Hey, y'all, who you listen to? Huh? Who you listen to? Who you listen to? We see you got friends on. Who you listen to? C-O-I. Who that is? Children of Israel. Children of Israel? Yeah. What, what, what? And I look for that group, but that's a very um, general name. That's a very generic name. Children of Israel could be referring to anything. You know, the actual children of Israel could be a group name. It could be a brother's channel. You know, it can be a lot of things. But, you know, because I, I went and looked and a lot of different things came up. You have songs entitled Children of Israel. All right. Street speaking entitled Children of Israel. Like I said, uh, brother's channel. All right. Videos with that title so it was hard to find anything on them all right but you know from what you're about to see in the clip and from what he told us we know that they're you know that they're going off all right the, the lord yahweh shima shai isn't dealing with that group all right uh, so let me ask you what's the name of what's the name of the heavenly father uh -huh. nope yeah. 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 all right and she said a higher so most likely they're they're offshoot probably of GOCC. All right, Church of God in Christ. That false ass group, man. That's that's probably the worst group. Well, no, I have to say one body is the worst group. <laughs> because one body is just completely reprobate, man. That that old body, as the apostle call him, uh, what's his name? Jephthah. All right, that group, that is just completely just, man. You know, but GOCC is probably second. All right, so this group, Children of Israel, they're probably an offshoot of GOCC because that's what GOCC teaches, uh, the name Ahiah and Yeshia. All right, so he's the, the group he follows that he's a part of is probably an offshoot of GOCC. See, that's why our people, all right, we're out there to teach, man. We're, we're not out there to, like, like the apostles and elders teach us, man, like all the brothers of Great Millstone teach. You know, we don't go out there to just scream and yell at people and, and rebuke people, man. You know, a, a lot of the elect are out there, and that's who, that's who we're out there for, man. We're out there for the elect. We're not out there to raise up the nation, all right, to try to 
so-called wake every, wake our people up, man. No, we out there for the elect, man. And all of the elect haven't fully came into the truth yet. All right? You know, the elect, you know, could I could be very well wrong. The elect could already be sealed because the days are being sped up and all the prophecies are speaking. But, you know, a lot of the sheep are still out there. When I say the, the elect um, may not have waking up, I mean come to the full truth. Because I'm sure by now all of the elect, all right, that's here on earth know that they're Israelites, but they may not even have came, been fully awakened to the full truth yet. Meaning the full, the full doctrine. Um... The names, all, right, all the prophecies, and the whole role. All right? So the elect may not have come to the full understanding yet. But that's why we're out there to teach, man. All right? We're, we're not out there to try to put people down to just scream and holler at people, you know, even just to get on Esau. All right? We're not out there just for that, man. We're out there to teach, man. The apostles teach us that the men are supposed to learn to become teachers, man, to go out and teach. All right, start teach teach them um teach our people starting with the men, all right? Because men learn so they can go teach other man, so it can it can this thing can grow exponentially, man. This thing can spread like bacteria, so to speak, man. So so the man can learn, they can go teach, and the people they teach they go teach, and it goes on and on, man. It spreads like wildfire. All right, so when we see brothers, our people like this, all right, we're not out there to say, oh brother, you going off, you are the two thirds. No, man, we're out there to teach our people, man. Because like I said, a lot of our people, they, 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 they sincere, but they just haven't come to the full knowledge yet, man. All right? You know, a lot of our people are really seeking the truth, man. And they're sincere about it. But they're just, but they just you know, following false prophets, man, being led by false teachers and false leaders. So that's the thing, man. All right? We ain't out there to put people down and, and, and condemn people, man. We out there to teach, man. We fishing for the elect. Moses told, told, told us that his name is he is Moses, when, when, the, when, the, when the children said what is the name of the heavenly father and you can see the brother he's standing there um, he's standing there listening man alright he ain't saying no nah, brother well, I don't believe that I, don't, I already know the name of course he thought he had the name but once we told him the true names he didn't buck up against it man he was he was like yeah 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 that, that's right that makes sense Right, and that's what that's why we out there, man. Moses didn't say I am. That's first person. See, it's all about perspective. Moses didn't say his name is I am. Moses said he is. Moses is saying it from our perspective here on earth. The heavenly father told Moses, I Now you can see, you know, this brother knows he's an Israelite, but you know, he he's being led for he, he's bugged out because of these false counts, man. You know? Completely bugged out because of these camps, these false prophets, these false teachers and leaders, man. All right, you can see he got the um his hair is not too long. Alright. Alright, but he, he has those Shiva Jotters, man, those, those those dreadlocks, man. And that's going off. That's a heathen custom. Alright, that comes from um uh the Elamites, man, the so called East Indians, alright. That's an Elamite custom, man. Those Shiva Jotters, man. Dreadlocks. All right. Like I said, this hair isn't long. But I'm just sure that Jake, Jake probably hasn't had his dreads that long in his, in his hair. Ain't, ain't, ain't grew that long yet. But he, you know, he probably, he probably got that, that, that hair demon on where he, he ain't going to want to cut it, man. Because these camps teach that they don't teach the full truth, man. They always talking about the law, the law, the law. All right. But, but, um. The law says, um, the man shall not wear that uh, which pertain it to a woman. Now, a lot of Jakes just see that and see his pants, pants, or, or, or men shouldn't wear women clothes. All right? Men shouldn't wear, you know, skirts and dresses and this and that. But that's also talking about hair, man. All right? If you're going to know the law, you got to know the law. They ain't just talking about your, you know, your literal, gar your, your literal garments, man. Men wearing women's clothes. They're also talking about looking like women, man. Such, such as having that hair, man, long hair. Now, like I said, this chick ain't got long hair, but he got those, he got them damn dreads, man. All right, and I'm sure he's ignorant in that as well, man. He, he, I'm sure that the what's the group name he said, the children of Israel, C O I, that they don't teach 
that you know that's a heathen custom that's a vain custom man those those shiva jars man those dreadlocks all right matter of fact let me get another scripture i feel like i'm i feel like i'm speaking in too in you know too long without getting scriptures uh What's that? Second Peter. False prophets have gone out. Yep. Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there, even as, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction and many. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. All right. And that's a damnable heresy, man. Those, those Shiva Jotas, man, because the majority of these camps don't teach against that, man, having dreadlocks. Now, of course, you can have braids, you can have poles. All right. Um, you know, you can meet about different men in the scriptures. They had uh, what we call braids today, man. They had locks. That locks they ain't talking about, you know, dreadlocks, which a lot of these camps teach. See, see, you can have dreadlocks. No, man. Locks means braids, all right? Cornrows, all right? <laughs> As they were called back in the day, they called uh, braids now. But locks mean um, corn cornrows, man. What we call today braids, man. It ain't talking about dreadlocks. It ain't talking about them damn Shiva Jotas. It's talking about braids, man, cornrows. All right, not dreadlocks. <laughs> look at me, look like I'm screaming. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's why we out. That's why we go out, man, because a lot of our people, all right, they're 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 they're, they're just ignorant, man. Like I said, people take that word ignorant wrong. It doesn't mean stupid or dumb. It just means to not know, to not be aware. Of. I am. He told he because he was saying to himself to Moses, I am. But when Moses told us the name, yeah, you see, he said, um. He thinks the name is um, Ahia. So most likely they're they're offshoot of GOCC. All right. And I'm explaining to the brother what, why they why they teach um, Ahia. Like I said, go look it up for yourself. All right. <laughs> you got to do some work yourself, Jake. All right. And even Eve. All right. You know, don't just take my word for it. I've done my homework. I've done my research already. All right. Upon learning from the um, Brothers of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders. All right. So what I'm saying is, this said the Lord, this said the Holy Scriptures. All right. But like I said, you go uh, do do uh, go look into these things for yourself. All right. But I'm telling the brother um, where that name Ahia comes from. Moses told the Moses told 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 us that his name is He is Moses. When when the, when the, when the children said, "What is the name of the heavenly Father?" Moses didn't say, "I am." That's first person. See, it's all about perspective. Moses didn't say his name is I am. Moses said he is. Moses is saying it from our perspective here on earth. The heavenly father told Moses, I am. He told he because he was saying it himself to Moses, I am. But when Moses told us the name, Moses said he is. Which means he exists. And that's where you get young high what? He is, he, he exists. Is. That's he what to it means. He exists. No, uh, 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 exactly. Uh, how you don't mean he Ahia no, literally means I am. But all right, and that just goes to show you that our people aren't being taught properly. All right, the majority of our people are not being taught and led properly, man. All right, he, he, he agreed. All right, like I said, this ain't a personal attack against this brother because he's sincere and he received everything. He didn't buck up. All right, but he's just bugged out totally and completely because of these false te these false prophets, man. And this just goes to show you that our people are being led, taught wrong, man. He said, yeah, um, yeah, he exists. He exists. That's what the name means. But Ahia doesn't mean he exists. All right. Ahia means I am like I'm telling, like I'm explaining to the brother. That's why that's where they get that from. Um, Ahia. Because it says when the Lord told Moses his name, he said he said to Moses, I am. So that's where they get Ahia from. All right, but Ahia, Ahia um, doesn't mean he exists. Ahia literally means I am. All right, so that's not the Lord's name, as, as you can, as I'm, as you can, um, about to hear me tell the brother. All right, but I just want to get this example that our people are being taught wrong, completely wrong, man. All right, because 
a higher again doesn't even mean he is. So that doesn't even make sense. For 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 you to think that his name means he exists, but says his name is a higher. All right. Because like I like I'm telling the brother, Moses spoke to like the Lord, the most high the heavenly father spoke to Moses directly. And he was saying that he was speaking to Moses person man to man. From that first person perspective, he was saying, I am. So we don't say I am. That's saying that we're the Heavenly Father. That's saying that we're the Most High. If we say I am, all right, if somebody asks us a name and we say I am, that's that's literally saying that, well, like if somebody asks me, brother, what's the name of the Heavenly Father? What's God's name? And I say I am. I'm saying that I am. That's basically saying that I am the Heavenly Father. No, man. That's why Moses told the children of Israel, he, said, he is, all right, not I am. He is, he exists, he to be. That's what the Lord's name is, Yahweh. All right, he is, he exists, he to be. All right, it's not Ahia, I am, it's he is, Yahweh. All right. And I'm, I'm, I'm Lord willing, I'm gonna get some scriptures on the importance of the name as I play this a little bit. All right. That ain't the Heavenly Father's name. We well, say he is. Yahweh Yahweh I say Yahweh 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 I ain't never heard that one. Yeah, Yasha Yao, yeah, that was a yeah, that was a new one to me and the brother Malachi, man. We you know, we had never heard of that. And I think the brother was I think he just, I think that's just a different way of saying Yeshaya. Probably. But Yasha Yao, yeah, I hadn't that was a new one, you know. Like I said, our people bugged out, man. Our people bugged out. But as you can see, you know, in from the rest of the video. This brother, you know, he he just he just doesn't know, man. He just he just he just doesn't know. He 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 hasn't been taught properly, man. And he's completely bugged out because of it. All right. I heard Yeshaya. Yeshaya, Yashaya. I heard that's Yashaya. That's what we say. No, it's Yes, he said that's what we say. No, man, you got to get the true name, man. I ain't never heard that one. I heard Yeshaya. Yeshaya, Yashaya. I ain't never heard that one. That's what we say. No, it's Yahweh Shah. He is. What? 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 When the when 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 the when the when the when the when the heavenly Father told us that the Son's name is in him, what 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 was he saying? And when I said the Son's name is in him, I said that backwards, Salaki. I was saying that the Heavenly Father was saying, telling us that um, my name is in him, meaning my name, the Heavenly Father was saying that his name is in the Son's name, as you hear me, as you're about to hear me explain, meaning, you know, saying the Father's name is Yahweh, the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. So the Father's name is in the Son's name, and that's what the Heavenly Father was saying, my name is in him. So that's what, that's what I meant when I said that. His name is literal. My name is literal. Part of his name. The Lord's name right. is Yahweh. Yeah, so that's why I had to uh, came right, right behind him and, and correct myself on um, real quick. All right, because he was saying that, you know, my name, the Heavenly Father was saying that my name is a part of his name. All right. And I caught, I had to catch myself real quick. All right, because I said it backwards the first time. So, so like you, how about Shimao Shaf, Bob Kashaw, Bob Kashaw, Bob Kashaw for that. You know? Like I said, we uh, and I ain't really going off, but you know, you know, we're passionate about this thing, so we get excited when brothers come up and inquire. And then you know, myself, I start you know thinking, you know, I talk not not that I be trying to talk fast, but you know, I'm passionate about this truth, and I and I just had to catch myself real quick and realize what I had said. All right, and like I said, that ain't that ain't really I ain't really go off, but you know, I just I just said it backwards. Right. He is the son's name is Yahweh Shah, which means he is the savior. He is the deliverer. That's why he said, My name is in him. Yep. Okay. See, so, see, you, see, you gotta get the I, right name, I brother. Ain't gonna, I ain't gonna uh No, we just we just want to get the truth right here. I feel you. It ain't about being right or wrong. Yeah. But our hell finna break loose. We want our people to have the true name. Yeah, man. We're coming into Jacob's trouble, man. Daniel 12 and 1, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And you know, we know damn well that GOCC ain't teaching about that. All right. 
in this group, see a lot of children of Israel that he's a part of or that he listens to or follows, what, what have you. We know that he haven't been taught about Jacob's trouble. If he, he, he ain't been taught properly about it if he's been taught about it at all. All right. Because if he, if he did, he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't be walking around in his leisure time. All right. And we teach in the downtown area. All right. And like I said, he was out in the park, you know, with his family, you know, walking, walking in the downtown area, walking the block, walking the strip. All right, and he got, Jake got fringes on, man. And if he knew, all right, the full truth, if he knew about Jacob Trouble, the time we in, the time that we entering into, all hell is about to break loose, man. And he, he wouldn't, so he wouldn't be walking around in fringes, man, especially orange fringes sticking out like a sore thumb. All right, because you making yourself a target by doing that, man. And you know these counts, oh, so y'all push, y'all teaching against fringes. No, we ain't teaching against fringes, man. All right, we wear fringes, man. But you don't, we don't wear fringes 24-7, man. You wear fringes when you're doing the work. Or you can even you can wear fringes in the prophecy of your home, uh, in the prophecy of your own home, all you like. But you know, we're still slaves in, in, in Esau's kingdom, man. That's the thing about it. We we you know, we're we're still under um heathen rulership, man, and we're under the rulership of the wicked. And he's adverse to Yahweh Bashem Shah. He hates Yahweh Bashem Shah in every form and fashion, man. So he sees Jake and fringes that pisses him off, and not that we're scared of Esau. Now nah, we're scared of we we're scared of uh, the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Shah. But we're saying we tell we tell our people to walk in wisdom, man. All right, don't be over righteous. All right, because Esau has seen that, and you know he's already he's already ready to come with that great wrath, man. He already hates us, man. He already hates Jake. All right, so he see them fringes, and, and that tick him off, man. And you know Esau puts us all, all the Israelites in the same pot. He see we know that there's different doctrines among, amongst Israelite camps, amongst different groups. But Esau doesn't see it like that, man. He sees those friends in with that. There's there's one of those Israelites, all right? We know that they're against us, and that's why Esau gonna come down with that, come, use that sword, man. All right. Our people gotta um walk wise, man. Let's get that, man. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of, will of the Lord is, man. And, and so we got to walk in wisdom, man. We got to walk circumspectly means to look around us, man, to um, observe everything around us, man. Watch everything, man. Especially when we're out and about, man. You know, in our day to day, right? When we're out in public. All right, and we know the time that we in that the love of um, iniquity is abounding, so the love of many has waxed cold, man. All right, as I just read in the scripture, the times are evil. We're in evil times, man. Evil meaning bad times, and that's what we're in, bad times, man. People are shooting and killing each other for no reason, man. It's all, it's all kind of demons out here, man. So we got to walk in wisdom, man. We got to be wise, not as fools, as the scripture just read, man. All right, and Jake out here in his fringes, all right, ready to go to the bar and everything. No, man, you and, and and you got your family with them, you know, making them a target too. No, man, you know, like I said, we were our fringes, you know, because that's part of our custom. That goes back to the law. We were command. That's a commandment to wear fringes. All right, that's that's part of the law. All right, to wear fringes. All right, but if you're not teaching or doing the work in any form or fashion, there's no need to be be out and about with, with your fringes on, man. All right, because you um you making yourself a target, man. Sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah and I, 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 I want to get um. Uh, no, we just we just want to get the truth. I feel you. I feel you. It ain't about being right or wrong. Yeah. But our health in the break loose. We want our people to have the truth. Yeah, man. All right, the times that we're in. All right, trust me. <laughs> You're going to need the true names of the Father and the Son, man. All right? And not everyone that even has the true names are going to be saved, man. All right? But it's it's critical, it's vital that you have the true names, man. That's the most important thing about the ministry, about the truth, man, the, the, the name of the Father and the name of the Son, the name of our power and the name of our Lord and Savior, man. 
Let's get some scriptures on that, man. We're in evil times and we're coming into Jacob trouble and we're going to need them names, man. That's the most important thing to have, man. Let's get, um, let's see, get some scriptures on the name. Let's get this one first, the father and the son's name. Let's get, um, so like y'all were looking at some. Let's get Proverbs. This is Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. So it's important. All right, it's vital. It's essential. It's crucial. To know the true name of the heavenly father and the true name of his one and only begotten son, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior. All right, that's vital. That's critical information, man. You must have the true name. All right. All right, matter of fact, let's get some names. Let's get some um, precepts on the um, father and the son's name. Um, matter of fact, we'll stay in Proverbs. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right, when, when you see Lord, L-O-R-D in all caps, all right, capital L-O-R-D, that's the name of the Father. And his name is Yahweh. So when you see uh, the Lord, when you see that word Lord in all caps, it's talking about the Father, the Father's name, which is Yahweh. All right, the, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and it's safe. And we're going to need that protection, man. We're going to need to be um, in that strong tower. All right. Because we, we're going to need that hedge. We're going to need that covering for us to make it through Jacob trouble, for us to be protected and taken care of by, by Yahweh by Shema Washah. We're going to need to be able to um, run into that tower. All right. And be safe. All right. So it's crucial that we know the names, man. Names of the Father and the Son. All right, let's get um, what's that? Psalms, because that's how that's that's um that's how we're gonna be fed. That's how we're gonna be um maintained and sustained. All right, by your by your shimmy, how shot, and we're gonna need to know the calling the true names. You calling on a false name in them times. All right, you ain't gonna make it, man. Point blank, period, to the point. You ain't gonna make it. What's that? Psalms. Is it Psalms 24 or 124? Yeah, Maybe Psalms 124. And I'm going to go straight to the point. Yep. Psalms 124 and 8. I will help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So that's our help, man. All right? Our help is in the Lord's name, the name of the Lord. And that's why, that's why me and the brother Malachi was, was telling him, you know, we want our people to have the true names, man, because that's, that's our help. All right? Now let's go to the son's name. All right? Uh, let's see what we can get on, on, on your house, y'all's name. Um, let's get X. This is Acts 4 and 12. And I already had this one. I think I had this from, I had this highlighted from another lesson, another video I did. But nevertheless, it was good. I already had it marked. The water you have by Shema was All right, Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other name, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right, so, so it's, no, it's no salvation and no help in these false names. You know, Yashia, Yashia, Yahu, Yahusha, Yeshua, all these different names people say, Jebus Cross, you know, Yahweh or whatever, man. There's no salvation in those names, man. We ain't going to be saved by those names, man. 
We're going to be saved by calling on the true name. It's, there's only salvation in one name, man, and that name is Yahweh Shah. And that's the name we got to call on first and foremost, man, because, you know, we got to go through the Son to get to the Father, right? Yahweh Shah is our mediator. We can't go to the Lord. We ain't got direct access to the, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. We got to go through His Son. And there's plenty of scriptures on that. I ain't going to get them because I want to make this video as short and to the point as possible. All right. But what's that? Um, 1 Timothy 2 and 5. All right. Uh, for there's one mediator. Uh, it's also in the book of John. All right. I think I think that's 1 John where um, Yahweh shall say he is the door. All right. And if you come up any other way, you're the same as a thief and a robber. All right. So there's plenty of scriptures on that, man. We got to go through Yahweh Shah. We can't go straight to the Father. We got to go through Yahweh Shah because Yahweh Shah, uh, we were, Yahweh Shah bought us, man, with his blood. We were, scripture say we were bought with the price. All right. So we got to go through Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah gave his life for our sins and gave us repentance and atonement, man. All right, and, and, and speaking of that, the day of atonement is coming today at um sundown. Today is um August um 24th. All right, so the so so day of atonement starts tonight, um, this evening at sundown. It runs to tomorrow, runs through um runs until tomorrow at sundown. All right, so that's the day of atonement, man. All right. But yeah, man, we gotta go through Yahweh Shah, man. We ain't got, we can't go straight to the Father. All right, we gotta go through Yahweh Shah. All right, let's get um. What's that? Romans thirteen. Thought it was Romans thirteen. I know it might be Romans eighteen. No, it ain't even Slocky. Ain't even. Might be Romans three. I'm gonna go look it up if it ain't this one. If it ain't in Romans the third chapter. Uh, let's see. I'll go Google it. I know it's in Romans. He that called upon the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. Uh, not he that called upon the name of the Lord. Um, for everyone that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what that's the one I'm looking for. Romans ten and thirteen. Yeah, that's what it is. This is the book of Romans, chapter ten. Verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, and that's talking about Yahweh Shah, capital L, lowercase O-R-D. That's talking about Yahweh Shah. All right. So we got to call on Yahweh Shah, man. All right, because that's our salvation. Yahweh Shah is our Redeemer, man, our Lord and Savior. So we got to call upon Yahweh Shah. All right. So uh, I just want to get a few scriptures, you know, a few short scriptures on the names, man, because we're going to need the names. All right, so let's get back to the um video. Battery back in there. Yo, yo. Okay. Hey, we gonna where, where go. But I can get it. I can get. I can get it from you. I can get it from you. We, we GMS. We GMS. Where is that? At? GMS all over. All over. We all over too. But do y'all got the right doctor? Do y'all got what's what's the marker? And see that like the brother Malachi asking, did do y'all have the right doctor? And no, they don't. All right. And that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing about it. You got to have that 100% truth, man. All right? The scriptures say, be ye perfect as our Father, as your Father in heaven is perfect, man. And I ain't talking about literally being perfect, like sinless, because we're still in these um, 
we're still in this sinful flesh, but it's saying that, you know, know the full doctrine, have the 100% truth. All right. That's what it's saying by being perfect, man. Knowing all the prophecies, having all the correct breakdowns, teaching the 100% truth, teaching the full truth, having the full correct doctrine, man. That's what it's saying. Be, be ye perfect, man. All right. The scripture says we were given an unction from the Holy One and we know all things. All right, so so there, there so there's it is hundred percent truth out there, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we know who has that hundred percent truth, and that's the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders. All right, they got the hundred percent truth, plain and simple. All right, so the whole thing about it is having the full correct doctrine, man. That's the whole point of this video, like like the um like the brother Malachi is asking, man. But do y'all have the correct doctrine? And the answer is no. All right, because they don't have the correct names. All right, you know they don't. You know they're ignorant in their understanding, not knowing that having those dreadlocks is against all is against all is against all custom. All right, they don't have the like I said, they don't have the true names. All right, and Jake just wear their fringes every day, all day out and about, man. Which you ain't supposed to do that, man. All right. We asked you what, what you think it is. I don't know. I heard it was a chip. Do you believe it? Do you believe it, though? Yeah. And you can see Jake Jake ain't sure, man. Like he said, he heard it was a chip. But we, we've heard that the MOTB is many things, man. We hear, it, we hear it every day. But you got to know through faith, man. All right. <laughs> Jake said, I heard it. What's the chip? And that's why Malachi asked him, do you believe it, though? That's the whole thing about it. All right. We hearing that as many things. These false prophets are teaching that as many things. All right. It's sin. It's an embargo. Christianity sleeping with white women. All right. People are saying that MOTB is many things, which is it, which it is indeed to see hip. All right, that's the MOTB, Revelation 13, 16, 17. But you got to know that through faith. Because if you unsure and when it's made mandatory, when it's fully implemented, you may very well take it not being sure. All right? Because if you ain't completely sure, 100% sure about it, you're going to take it, man, because you're you going to be in dire straits, man. You're going to be hungry. You may not have a roof over your head. You're going to be cast out of society for not taking it. So if you ain't sure, then you're going to convince yourself, man, that, that, that probably ain't even... You know, the C-Hip probably ain't even the MOTB, man. So I might as well take it. So that's why you got to be sure about it, man. That's why Malachi asked him, was he sure? Is that what he believes? Is that what, is that what he thinks, man? Y'all teach it? That's what y'all teach? And, and some people say it was the, uh, the, uh, the Holy Ghost that did it. The juice? Yeah. No, that, that's a part of it. That's going to tie into it. That's a prelude. That's a precursor. And like I said, Jake don't, Jake don't know, man. Like he said, some he he don't he some people saying that it was the the jab the C one nine uh, hokey pokey, all right. And like we telling them that wasn't it, all right. But that, it ties into it, all right. That was a, that was a, that was a practice test from Yahweh by Shema was shot really, all right. And he saw um he needed the jab um going to biometrics and you know hook you up to the internet of things, all right. But ultimately that was a that was a practice test from the Lord, man. But showing you that Jake doesn't have that full truth. Because as you're about to hear, he, he took it. Yeah. But yeah, man. No, uh, this is it right here. What? Uh, oh, yeah, I had to, man. Had oh, come to. on, yeah, brother. Come on, buddy. Now, that, that was a practice test. Now, you. All right. And you heard Jake say, man, I had to, man. I had to. Yeah, I took it. I had to. See, Jake, that's why I say Jake, 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 just Jake, you know, Jake bugged out, man. Jake don't know any, Jake don't know no better, man. And like I say, I don't even know if he was even in the truth, uh, you know, back then a few years ago or whatever, 2020. All right, but if he was, that just shows you how, you know, our people are, are bugged out and they and they lost, man. All right. Because a lot of a lot of these camps told their congregation to take, to take the jail, man. You know, I know, I know for a fact. IUIC did. Or I know ISUPK did. Because cause we got videos on them. All right. 
And I, man, pretty much every other camp told our congregation that to take the yell, man, to take the serpent venom, man. A lot of people drop, drop, delete it from it. All right, and then what you, you can see this brother here, he took it, man. Like he said, he, he felt like he had to take it. And that's how, and that's how they gonna do with the MOTB, the seal. That ain't the mark now, so you still got a chance. But, but, but you failed the first test now. If you took that jab, it's a good chance you're going to take this. You failed the first test. See, the military been giving us shots for a long time. Now, see, that's the thing, bro. That's the thing. The brother, they going to come with that. You think that pressure. Yeah, see, and that, that goes to the image. That goes into the image, man. All right, because like we told the brother, you know, that wasn't, you know, the jab. You know, that wasn't the mark. All right, but it was a precursor, man, and, and the apostles say this all the time. If you, anybody that took the um, jab, most likely, you know, they're going to take the um, sea hip, man. That's just the truth, man. If you couldn't hold, if you couldn't resist the, um, the jab, man, you you got a very, it's a very slim chance that you're going to um, resist the MOTB. Because that's going to be punishable by death, man. All right. That's going to be punishable by death. All right, you're gonna be starved out, and they ain't all kind of things, man. So if you if you couldn't hold out, if you couldn't resist the um, jab, you ain't gonna. Be, most likely, you know your chances are slim to none of resisting the C hip. You, in, you think they pressured you into taking the jab? Wait, wait till this comes. Nah, that's not gonna happen. A lot of people say that about the jab. Yep. yep. A lot of my family well, ain't taking no. The... Yeah, but see, that's the thing. No, see, y'all, I, I took this, but I ain't gonna take that. No, man, if you, like, that's what we were telling them, telling them, man. A lot of people said, when the jab first came out, a lot of people said they wouldn't take it. I ain't taking it. I ain't, they ain't shooting me up with nothing, but as he saw came more and more with that pressure, all right, and demonizing people who didn't have it, you know, people start giving in, and, you know, people start, people start, start sticking their arm, arm out like it was going out of style, man. All right. If they threaten your jobs or your ability to feed your family, our people start sticking their arms out, man. And that's what they're gonna do with the sea hip. So Jacobson in and say, no, nah, you know, I took this, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna take no sea hip. Okay, Jake, whatever you say, we'll see. That's why you gotta resist now, man. No, this is a chip. This is the This is the This is the mark of the beast. This is a chip. Yeah, that's what I believe. This was a pre the, the jab what you took is was a prelude with a precursor to this here. They gotta yeah. hit you with the jab first. They gotta hit you with the jab first. It's called biometrics. Yeah. They gotta hit you with that first. And like and like, and like I said, man, this he you know he's he generally was a good brother, man. As you can hear, he receiving it. You know, but he just doesn't know and he don't know any better, man. He bugged out because of these these false counts. You know, he ain't bucking up against nothing um, basically, man, pretty much. He receiving everything, man. Yeah, I, he's saying, yeah, I believe that that's, you know, the C-Hip is the MOTB. You know, once he learned the names, he said, yeah, that's, he said, you know, yeah, that makes sense. So once he learned the true names, when well, we told him the true name, he didn't buck up against the name. All right, and he ain't come against the C-Hip, man. But he's just in ignorance because he hasn't been taught properly, man. He hasn't been taught the full truth, the, the right doctrine, the full correct doctrine, the 100% truth. And that's why we out there, man. To fish out the elect, man. Get you, cause they gonna hook you, hook you up. They gonna merge, man, in, in machine. Yo, they gonna, already they gonna hook you up to what's called the yo, Internet they, of they, Things, they, brother. They, they yeah. thing that's that's the whole mo. That's Esau whole mo. Yeah, you, you really are walking that town already. Yeah, see, right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. Brother said he walking that town, man. And that's true. They just that's true for everybody that done took it, man. You basically are walking that town, man. Esau can Esau can hit that damn switch like he did on Kingsman and make and make you people go crazy, man. Let me run it back a little bit. Took that. Yeah. Walking that tunnel. Yeah. They just gotta hit you with the chip, no? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all didn't take it. No. Hell no, we didn't take it. Y'all must not be veterans. Veterans. If we was veterans, if we were, we won't be a veteran. We I say we won't be right now, cause we would have came out of that shit, that brother. <laughs> We ain't taking we, we we take death over it over another. Well Esau game. See see we we practicing for that, brother. We got here every Saturday. We every about here every Saturday. Saturday. Lord willing. Every Saturday. Right. It's good that you know you're an Israelite, brother, but yeah, you can you gotta you gotta get the you gotta get the true doctrine. You gotta, you gotta get strong with the name. You gotta leave that camp. The name right here. 
You gotta get the names right, brother. You gotta get your Yeah, see, that's he see see he's a sincere brother. He's saying, you know, I gotta get the names right and you know, he, he asks us uh when we be out there and everything, man. Now whether he comes back, that's all through the spin probably y'all about Shima Shah. If he's truly sincere, you know, it's a good chance that we're gonna see him again. Alright, but if he's not, then probably not. Alright, but he, as you can see, he he's not he ain't buck up against nothing. He asks uh, when we be out there. Um, you know, what's the name of our group, name of our camp? He, he he inquired and he received everything, but he's just bugged out, man, because our people following the, are following these false prophets. Yeah, man, teach you the true names. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta, leave you gotta, them, bro. You got to say the hell with them, brother. Hey, we be out here every Saturday. Every Saturday. Okay. The right. father's name is Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh Shah. Uh, you got it. You got it. Just, just keep, just call on them names, brother. Shalom, up. Shalom, shalom. And as you can see, he had received the name, man, because I said, when I said the father's name is Yahweh, and I said the son's name, and before I could even say, he said Yahweh Shah. And we basically said it simultaneously, man, at the same time. All right? You know, we basically said it in unison, man. All right, so he received it, man. He said, I got it, I got it. The father's name is Yahweh, the son's name is Yahweh Shah. All right, so you can see that this brother, he was just walking in ignorance, man. All right, and if he's of the elect, he's in. He 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 went. Um, you know, this was this past um Saturday. All right, today is um Thursday. All right, I meant to do this video early in the week, but you know, had a few things going on, and it's all through the spirit. All right, but yeah, this was from this past sat from camp this past Saturday, and this brother received everything, man. So he was just, you know, he may very well be of the elect. All right. But, you know, that's not for me to say. All right. But the thing about it, he took that damn jab, man. So, hey, it's all, it's all, everything, man's going all, all, all of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So, everything is of the um, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shema Rasha. All right. But, like I said, he didn't buck up against anything, man. He seemed, you know, genuine and sincere. Right, but this is just the majority of our people are just, um, they're, you know, they're just ignorant, meaning they don't know. They don't have the real understanding. And that's, that's why we teach, man. All right? Because it's all about the elect. We ain't, we, ain't looking for the, we ain't looking for the nation. We ain't checking for the nation, man. We checking for the elect, man. That's what we out there for. All right? Let me get a few more scriptures. And this lesson went longer than I wanted it to, but, hey, it's all for edification. All right? But yeah, man, our people, our people got to come to the full truth, man. All right, the um, the full understanding. All right, because if you ain't got the um full truth, all right, you ain't gonna um, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna make it through the times that we're coming into, man. All right, matter of fact, let's get that um Isaiah thirty three and six. You know, and that was pretty much the point, man. But, you know, our people, a lot of our people are still, um, you know, walking in darkness. Or they're still lost, even in the truth, man. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the, shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Hoshah, is his treasure. So, the real wisdom and knowledge is not only that knowing that you're an Israelite, but it's having the full truth, the hundred percent truth. You're gonna have to know all the prophecies. You're gonna have to know the true names, all right? Because you're gonna you you gonna need to call on the true names in that day. You're gonna know. You're gonna um have to be able to um know know what's happening and why these things are happening when when they do take place, like the MOTB. You're gonna have to know that. That's the mark. You can't be unsure. You can't be ninety nine percent sure about it. You have to be a hundred percent sure. Yeah, this the, this the MOTB. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Because all you all it needs is all you all you need is a small inkling and lacking faith, and you'll give in to it, man. Because like we told that brother, that's the hour of temptation, man. And that's gonna really that's gonna really be, you know, that's gonna it's gonna be very tempting, man. All right, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing without it, man. And if you gonna 
And if you don't have, and if you if if you ain't being helped by your how about your mouth shine that time, you ain't got a chance, man. All right. But a lot of our people, all right, have to have discernment, man. When you know when you're willing to shop, when you first find out that you're an Israelite, you're watching these different groups. You gotta have discernment, man. That's why you gotta have, you gotta inquire for, you gotta read and inquire instead of for yourself. So when you see false prophets and teachers and leaders, you know that they're just that false prophets, man. All right, you gotta have discernment. Let's get that. Um, what's that? Malachi three and eighteen. Then ye shall. This is the book of Malachi, chapter three, verse eighteen. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the heavenly Father and him that serveth him not. So, um, our people gotta have discernment, man. All right. And this brother, you know, he seemed like he received everything, man. All right. Now, if he see him, if we see him next weekend or, or any time in the future and he still, you know, got the friend's T-shirt on, you know, in his day to day, in his leisure time, in his downtime, then we then we'll know he ain't receive it, man. He, he most likely ain't of the elect. He's most he's most likely not a part of the one one hundred and forty four thousand. Or the large um, one third or the um, one third multitude, which one hundred forty four thousand is included in that one third multitude. But if we see him again and he's in this same spirit, uh, he has an increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Then he most likely he's not a part of the elite. All right, but yeah, like I said, he he was a he was a sincere brother. He just he just bugged the hell out, man. All right. And that's why these false prophets are going to have a lot of blood on their hands, man. Because even in the truth, they have our people walking in darkness, man. Our people are spiritually dead, even, even though they think they're spiritually quickened, which means to be made alive. All right. They think they know something, but they don't. And that's the majority of our people, man. Especially the ones of the circumcision, man, even in this truth. All right. They think they deep. They think they know something, but they really don't, man. But that's why we're out there, man. We're out there to give our people the truth, man. All right? They be, but again, these false prophets are going to have a lot of blood on their hands, man, because they ain't uh, blowing the trumpet the trumpet properly, man. They're giving an uncertain sound, man, meaning going off in doctrine. They're leading our people to the slaughter. They're leading our people astray, man. And that's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, is going to require your blood, man. Because all that blood is on your hands, man. But see, now this brother, he's been given the truth, man. So, so, you know, now it's up to him. All right. But he was a sincere brother. You know, he was a, well, you know, he seemed like he had a good spirit on him. And he received everything and took everything in. All right, once he learned the true name, he said, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And he walked off saying the names. Uh, he said, uh, you know, I got to learn the true names. And, and, and you know, he, he received the names. He received the MOTB. All right. Now, Jake is a supplanter. And, you know, he could have been saying that just to agree with us, man. But, you know, like I said, I, for the most part, I think he was sincere. I, you know, I, I just think he, you know, I, you know, I just think he that he, he was, you know, ignorant in the truth. All right. He was ignorant in the truth, man. He didn't he didn't know. All right, he's just going by what he's been taught. All right, that's what I think. All right. But yeah, man, we're coming into the times where you're going to need that 100% truth, that full truth, man. But the majority of our people, all right, even, even in the truth, are bugged the hell out. Because judgment is going to start with everybody that of the circumcision, the ones that know that they're Israelite. Uh, I ain't going to go get it. I'm about to um, wrap this lesson up. But yeah, man, um, judgment is gonna start with those that know that that know that they're Israelite. First Peter four and seventeen, all right. And this and this is why, man, because uh, the majority of our people that know that they're Israelites are still bugged the hell out, all right. Because the elect is gonna speak the same thing. The elect is gonna have the full truth, man. All right. There should, there's gonna be no schisms among the amongst the elect, man. All the elect is gonna have the full truth, the same doctrine, man. Schisms mean divisions, basically, man. All right, that's why you gotta go and look into your words, man. Look up, look up, you look up words going to the um Hebrew and the Greek. All right, 
But yeah, man, um, yeah, that's why we out there, though. But I just want to do a, a lesson on this, man, because our people are lost even in the truth. All right? But that's why we out there, man. You know, we out there for the elect, man. All right? To to raise our people from the dead, even, even if they think they've been spiritually quickened. Even if they think they know something, man. If you ain't got the hundred percent, if you ain't got the hundred percent truth, you uh, you really ain't got the truth, man. All right. So you know, hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem I Shah by Shem Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You know, 144,000 and the one-third multitude. You know, we almost out of here. Keep praying, keep fasting. You know, prophecy is speaking. Jake, you're going to need that 100% truth in these last days, man. All right, DTA, a Baba Ball. Shalom.